Hi everyone, and welcome back to If It Ain't Cheap, I'm Not Buying It. Today is uh, Dollar Tree Tuesday, and I have a little tiny, tiny, tiny thrift haul. Yes, I, uh, been following me on Facebook at it, If It Ain't Cheap, I'm Not Buying It. I've been going back and forth to my pain management doctor, which is about 35 minutes away from me. And um, every time I go, I always have like early doctor's appointments, like 7.30, 8 a.m. Long story short, I always pass this one thrift store, um, and it's always closed for, for some odd reason uh, when I make my way back home. So... Uh, Last Wednesday, I decided, you know, to hang out, went to McDonald's, uh, sat in the car and had breakfast. I hit up the Dollar Tree in that area, and uh, that's what this video is about, the Dollar Tree that I was at and the little thrift store. So, by the way, if you're new to my channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, if you're coming over and uh, wondering what channel I'm about, Make sure to hit the uh, subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, hit the likes and turn the, metal, the bell notifications on on all. And uh, also leave me a lovely comment and uh, welcome to the Fabulous Family. So let's get into the Dollar Tree video. Now, uh, up at the register, I found this uh, nice white and gold sign. And it says, you are powerful beautiful brilliant and brave and it has like the little um quote you know the little bubble thing that pops up and i thought this was fabulous you will be seeing this um soon in an upcoming uh open invite video or you may have already seen it um i have so many videos that are in queue that right at this point i forget when each video is due but yeah, they had this one, and there was like four other different uh, quotes. And this is something new. Uh, never seen this before. I like to buy little inspiration um, signs to place at my desk um, to put in, you know, my granddaughter's uh, room. Uh, just little things to uh, make you feel special, you know, in the bathroom. You know, you, you read it, you keep moving, and then it stays in your mind all day. So I got that one, and I think um, I'm going to hit the other three Dollar Trees uh, here where I live at and uh, to see if I can find uh, the other ones just to, you know, lay around. And at this particular Dollar Tree, they had these, mm, to me, they're like potpourri, um, little uh, uh pumpkins that are in here and then they have uh the pine cones like little miniature versions and they smell oh they smell fabulous they smell like they're mixed with like a vanilla and a cinnamon uh uh scent to these so i, I picked these up not only for the um you know, like the potpourri, but to use them uh, for a little DIYs. And they have the, they're starting to put out the Christmas picks. So I got this one that's like kind of covered with snow. And uh, I thought these was fabulous. Uh, these gold uh, tree, they're like tree branches to me in gold. It'll be, make a beautiful uh, center um, centerpiece or perhaps a nice uh, reef. So I got two of these. And uh, they had this four piece, well, that's a little strong, pumpkin spice uh, candle set. And that's what it looks like, just in case you're looking for it. Now, it's a little strong inside the box. I'm going to take one out. Okay, now by itself, it's not too strong. 
So I, I thought this was a, a good deal. Pumpkin spice for four candles. Uh, I love the scent of pumpkin spice or pumpkin butter uh, in the winter time, along with the um, the pine scent, um, wax burners. Oh my goodness, they just make your house smell like you're in a a, a, a forest. Now, um, if you've been watching my channel, I have a uh, open right. for uh, my annual spectacular. Um, you know, open invite. Hope that you will join along. So while I was there at the Dollar Tree, they have uh, these out, these candles out, and I cannot think of um, what the name of these are called. It's a special name uh, that it's a special day that they celebrate. They celebrate the day of. Uh, the dead versus uh halloween and i should have probably had that prepared before i got on the video but i got these two candles and i also got uh this gigantic sign uh day of the dead with the skeleton uh you know with the skeleton face and uh you'll see what i'll be doing with this for my spectacular um open invite i'm going to try to film outside uh, because now that i have my house i'll be able to uh set up everything for halloween i am gonna you know leave my light on for about two hours and uh, that way i can get to know some of my new neighbors uh with their little uh kids coming over and picking up a little uh, Halloween treat. I normally don't cel celebrate Halloween um, with all that gore and uh, devilish and all that other stuff. But this year I said, I, you know, I'll bring back the annual um, spectacular invite. Um, and uh, that way I can decorate outside for, you know, my little neighborhood kids. So I hope you join in. You know, it doesn't have to reflect on Halloween. It could be anything uh, that you choose to do. So next, if you do uh, have not been to the Dollar Tree, they have these thankful wood signs with the strings on them. You need to run quick, fast, in a hurry and get you a few of these because they are going to be gone. And you know, we are thankful 365 days that we are here living on this earth. So I picked this one up. And uh, they have gather. And then they have the family. Now I was hoping that they had the blessed. OMG, I would have bought every single one of them and set a table outside in front of my house and I would be doing me a little uh, a little sale on them. And then, you know, I got two of these. So, of course, you are going to be seeing a DIY uh, on all four of these. And actually, I have a open invite that is coming up in November. Uh, me and another co-host uh, won't mention it right now until we you know get everything uh, started on it but you will see the DIY and then you'll be seeing how I display these so I'm hoping that you're able uh, to get out and uh, find these at your nearest Dollar Tree all right so next I like I said I went to the little thrift store and this, this thrift store, to me, is really, really high. And there was really nothing that uh, stood out to my eye but the little uh, four things that I did pick to pick up. So let's get into it. Um, they had these glass pumpkin dishes. You can use them. It could be an apple or uh, use it as a pumpkin Either or, they still go for the holiday because, you know, apple pie, uh, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So I thought these were really, 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 really nice. And um, the stem kind of has like a twist and a turn to it. I don't know if you can pick that up actually in the video. 
But when I got to the register, there was like three ladies up at the counter. And I was like, are these apples or pumpkins? And uh, one lady said, well, they look like pumpkins to me. And then one lady says, it could be either or, apple or pumpkin. So they didn't have a tag on it. So I said, oh, I don't need these. She said, well, I'll give them to you for a dollar a piece. And I said, okay, I'll take them. So I got these two. And then they had this eight-piece table mat. And these are, like, practically brand new. It's like somebody didn't even use If they did use them, I don't know. But they are really nice and soft. And it was an eight-pack uh, for $4. Four dollars. Which I don't think is, is bad. Um, these are really, really thin. They're not heavy at all. And I think at my other thrift store that I was shopping at all those uh, years before we moved here. Um, and that's how I became a hoarder and had all them haul, had all those storages. I think I probably could have got these for 75 cents for the whole 8-pack. So it just depends on what thrift store um, that you shop at. But this is what they um, they are looking like. And not uh, some of them are, have the same pattern. And then like this is a different pattern as you can see here. But I think this one was thrown in and it's really supposed to be a napkin. And they're using it as a table mat because that was the only odd one that came in the pack. And I am just noticing that. So, of course, you'll be seeing this um, as a holiday uh, Christmas decor on uh, one of my uh, tables for Christmas. And I, being that they had this this one in, this, I, this is a napkin. But I'm going to use it as a table mat so it will all blend in. And then lastly, I was going to, I was not going to get these, but then I went back around, you know, and I was like, I got to get them. So, I thought these were beautiful. And I got two of them. Look at the stem on these. And these were $4. And I thought that was really, really high, especially uh, secondhand, uh, because I'm so used to getting stuff, you know, very cheap. But, uh, so I paid $8 for the pair for this. I was kind of like, I don't think this is, not you know brand new it, i know it was higher than that but four dollars i guess i can't complain like i said my other thrift store really really had me you know spoiled with all the beautiful glassware and stuff that i accumulated uh you know with uh much smaller prices so i got these two and um they like the martini shaped glasses, but they are candle holders, and that's what I'm going to be utilizing them for. And as you can see, real quick, uh, how that just, you know, blends right in. So I spent the total of the same four eight. These were four. That's twelve, uh, and then a dollar fourteen dollars. And then these are the three little things. Uh, $14, I could have had a whole buggy full of stuff um, at my other thrift store, which I had went to um, last Saturday to go visit a friend who uh, just got out the hospital. It was uh, my neighbor, and I wanted to go down and check in on her. And uh, I had $10 cash, and I said, oh, on the way back, um, I want to stop by uh, my thrift store, but they were closed. So let me know what you think of these beautiful um, candle holders. This is my favorite here. 
And I was thinking maybe uh, getting some rhinestone chain and linking around, but I think it's just fabulous by itself. All right, so I'm not going to hold y'all. So, But as I always say, child, if it ain't cheap, I'm not buying it. I'll see y'all in another video. Bye-bye.